Hey, I'll, uh, two new wrinkles in the, well, not so new anymore, considering they're from, uh, mid last week at this point, but basically what's come to light in the whole IRS scandal thing, uh, uh, much to the shame of the outrage of the right, is like, <gasps> they hate us! Say, we're the real Americans! They hate us! They hate us! You know, that's what the right does. <laughs> when they're out of power, when they're in power, they say, hey, hey, hey evil left, go away, fuck off. And the left does the same thing, you know, let's be honest. You know. But um, what the IRS was doing, or allegedly doing, was targeting Tea Party groups. Now it's come to light that, no, they weren't. Uh, no, they weren't targeting Tea Party groups. They were targeting groups who disagreed with the government and were after holding the government accountable and redress of grievances and things of this nature. That was who the IRS was targeting. Didn't matter if they were doing it from a liberal or conservative point of view, if you didn't love your government, the IRS was targeting you. That makes it all better. It's not like that's in our Constitution anywhere, that we have the right to... Oh, wait a minute. I gotta check, but I think that's somewhere in the First Amendment. Hmm. So the IRS didn't just single out a single group. They said any Americans who want to do the job of citizens in a republic are to be targeted. Wow. Interesting. Maybe the IRS Inspector General should definitely be explaining some stuff now. <gasps> Maybe that's why they didn't want to disclose that, uh... Because, you know, just by disclosing the stuff in the beginning, they could have made it very clear that they weren't targeting Tea Partiers and right-wing people. They were just targeting everybody. Hmm, I wonder why they didn't disclose that to start with. Yeah. Scary, isn't it, America? I didn't know following the Constitution made me a terrorist. Wow. And uh, somebody to be targeted by an office of my government. Wow, wow. That's, uh, wow. <laughs> uh, anybody want to take votes on how long the IRS is going to be intact? Well, it's not like we can do anything to them. After all, they have to oversee our health care. And they've shown unilaterally that they have the ability to be completely and totally fair and unbiased in the enforcement of the law. It's not like they single out and target Americans for being Americans. Oh wait, they just admitted that's exactly what they do. So, do you want to be left alone by the IRS or do you want your freedom? <laughs> wow, what the fuck have we come to, America?